Gabbit Media. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a person just using the shapes in Blender. So this is what we're going to end up with. And I'm moving around my object by the middle mouse button. And that's what we're ending up with. I can scroll in and out. Remember, we're using the middle wheel like this. Okay, so this is what we're going to end up with. Very simple, very basic. So I'll start a new scene, uh, file new, uh, and start a scene. So this is what you'll see. And I'm rotating around again using that middle mouse button and wheeling in with my middle mouse button. Okay, if I hold down shift, I can move around like this. Okay, so let's start with our block here. I'm going to scale it down. So press S to scale and scale it down. Okay, um, so I want this to turn into a leg, so I'm going to make it longer. So I'm going to scale it in the Z axis, that's the blue one. So I press S to scale and Z to scale in the Z axis and then make it into a leg. Okay, and to duplicate this item to make another leg, I press Shift D, Shift D, and that gives me another object. And if you just right click, it will actually be exactly the same place as the other one. So you just pull that out and you can see I've got two of them there. Okay. I prefer to do it that way. I'm just going to undo that and undo it again. Um, right, so here's my start object. There's nothing behind it. I press Shift, Shift D to duplicate, and then right click, and that means I've now got two of them. Okay, pull that one out along the y-axis by clicking on that green arrow there. If I wanted to pull it on the x, I do that. Just undo that by uh, Control Z. Um, if I wanted to redo it, Control Shift Z. That's handy to know. So Control Z um, is undo. So let's uh, duplicate this one, Shift D to duplicate, and right click, so it's on top of the old one, so there's two there now, pull it up, and there we are. Okay, so I'll go around to the front like this, just with my middle mouse button, move around to the front, and I'm going to make it fatter, so scale Y, S, then Y, so I'm scaling it in the Y axis, and there we go, that's about twice as wide. I can look at that exactly by going to the uh, side um, or the front view with uh, oh that's uh, not the front view the front view is with three on your numpad uh, it's in perspective mode at the moment if I put it up to orthographic we can see exactly the size of it so uh, that's orthographic by pressing five on your numpad okay so I'll scale that a bit further in the Y S Y and make it whoop do that again if you're close in and you press scale Y only little adjustments are difficult to make because you're moving, you have to really be careful with your mouse. If you're further out and you press S then Y, uh, little adjustments are a bit easier. Okay, that's a little tip there, uh, but it might be confusing. So there we go, it's roughly the, the same size. And to come out of this view, I can just press the middle mouse button and move around again, but you can see I'm in orthographic again. That's why it looks a little bit weird. So press 5 on your keyboard and we come back to perspective. You'll probably start seeing what orthographic and perspective mean when you start doing that. So I want some arms. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this, so Shift D to duplicate, Shift D, right click, so I've now got two of them, okay, and it's in exactly the same place. So I'll move it up here and across, and I want that to be rotated. I mean, it could be an arm by a side there, but I want it sticking out. Okay, so I need to rotate it in the X axis, which is this red line along here. So I need to ro rotate it, press R, I need to rotate it 90 degrees, so I can press 90. Oh, hang on, I didn't press the X axis. Right, so I'll escape from that, press escape, and that will undo what you've done. So press R, X, so it rotates in the X axis 90 degrees. Okay, so I move around, move that with the Y axis, move it with the Z axis, there we go. And now I can just duplicate that, Shift D to duplicate, right click, so it's in exactly the same place. And then move it across by holding down the Y. So there we go, we've got the, uh, the body. Now we just need to add a head. So we come up to our Add Mesh tool. And I could have it as, I suppose I could have it as a cylinder or a sphere. I chose a sphere last time, so I'll do that again. So I've just added a sphere. There we go. And I'm moving it about with those um, axes. And he's got quite a big head there, so I could scale it down, make it smaller if I wanted to. Maybe he wants a big head, I don't know. There we go. Um, there we go. Okay, so I've got my person, and I want them to be standing on some sort of floor. Um, as you can see, there's no floor. Right, so I go add mesh plane and there's my floor press S and it will scale it up and then we can pull it down and what would be more accurate because I can't quite see because it's grey and the, the uh, person's grey and there's no shadows being projected if I go to the side view by pressing 1 
and then go to orthographic because I don't want to be in perspective because I still can't see where the floor is. Orthographic, that will tell me exactly where it is. Um, so orthographic view is 5. Okay, so if I come out of 5, we'll go back to perspective and then I can rotate around and there he's standing on uh, some sort of floor. And um, there we go. There it is, all finished. Uh, good luck with that.